repeat? We will not chase that car if you are not able to take it. Open the door! Unlock the door and open it! Unlock the door and open it! You don't know you hit a car? 
No, I wanted to go home. That's what I said. I to go home. Is that why you took off from hitting the car at the casino? Is because you were just trying to get home? Yeah. And then when I turned my lights on, you sped up. Is that because you didn't see me, or what happened? I just wanted to go home. You just wanted to get home, even though I had my lights and sirens on behind your vehicle? Yeah. What's it mean when you see red and blue lights behind your vehicle flashing like that? I just wanted to go home and stop. Are you supposed to stop? Yeah. Okay. And how come you didn't stop when I activated my lights? Well, I want to stop. So I want how to come go. you didn't stop? Well, I, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Okay. You weren't sure why you didn't stop? No, I just saw you guys. I want to stop. Okay. I'm being a jerk. I don't want to stop. You know? No, I understand. I'm not calling you a jerk. I'm just asking. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. I want to stop. Okay. <coughs> Do you have an idea? So, so would you say that alcohol impaired your uh, ability to drive this evening? Oh, sure. I mean, to be honest. How much have you had? Uh, a couple beers. A couple beers? On a, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the drunkest you've ever been, where would you say you're at right now? Two or three beers. On a scale of 1 to 10, yeah. with 1 being completely two, sober... Two or three beers. Okay. I said, I said two or three beers. Yes, I understand you said two to three beers. Yeah. With 1 being completely sober, and 10 being the drunkest you've ever been in your life, where would you say you're at on that scale? Two or three beers. Okay, so are you saying closer to a 1 or closer to a 10? I'm saying two or three beers, that's what I'm saying. That's why I say I want to go home and be cool. And okay. Do you understand why I, I stopped your yep. vehicle right here? Yes, I did. Why, why did I stop your vehicle? Yeah, swerving and, uh... Swerving and what else? Well, all I know. I know. I know. Because you darn near went off the road when you were coming off of Highway okay. 18. You literally okay. almost dove off the edge there. Okay. Why not? Okay. So I know. I'm going to go home. Keep him. So what happened? So what happened? Yeah. Um, I got by. I I saw him because he's getting ready to make the left hand turn from Auburn Way on well, to. Are we going to be processing this? I mean, is it? Yeah, we think it's DUI, so I can do oh, yeah. my guys stop processing. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. So I I get behind him. We start to pull forward. I'm I'm airing out that I'm behind him. I activate my light, or right before I activate my light, he guns it. And there's two cars in the left lane, so he guns it ahead of him. So I kick my lights on as I'm coming up the hill. He's looking, trying to, to drop me before my lights are even on. So, uh, huh? How do you know you saw him? Because I was sitting right behind him underneath the light. And then as I'm coming up the hill, I'm hitting my lights, and he's still going. And that's when I'm airing out what I'm having. We're coming around, but right as we're, he's making the right-hand turn right here, and that's when I said what I said, because I was going to pit him, because I was catching up to him really quick, and then he made the turn. I didn't hear what you said, so that's why I keyed up what you say. We were already coming down the hill, and he was he stopped right here, but he wasn't doing anything. He was stopping, and then he started to pull forward again right here. That's when I just pitted him and stopped him right here, because I didn't want him to run again. So how fast was he going? Right here? Less yeah. than five. So was it more of an intentional intervention or a pit? I put my... My bump, my pit bumper right here, and then just push, and then he stops oh, just like this. Yeah. yeah. You want to give him enough to get going on the DUI process? So, um, what he's told me is he's had two to three beers. Um, learn his speech when we were trying to get him out of the car. Yeah. Um, I told him, I literally told him, unlock the door. He couldn't what? figure out how to unlock his door. Um, we were telling him to open the door from the outside. He was trying to grab his door handle inside. Um, he just wasn't obeying any commands and just not paying any attention to us. So, um, and he told me he's had two or three beers. He told me that alcohol has impaired his ability to... Is that part of it something that you would do to supplement or should I write it? Oh, I'm going to write it, but you need to know that I believe he's impaired. No, I know. I believe he's impaired based on what he's told me and what his actions are. So if you make if he's willing, then I can take him out of and do that. As long as you have a good cover, officer, yeah. I mean, if you feel if you feel it's safe, and I mean, discuss it with Berger. But I mean, if you feel it's a safe thing, if it's an appropriate thing, then by all means. But if you don't feel it's safe or don't feel it's appropriate, 
in this situation, I probably wouldn't do SFSTs based on everything that's happened to lead up to here. Yeah. But was he like aggressive or? No. Okay. And then he's been really apologetic, saying he shouldn't have done it. So. Okay. I accept your apology. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's me. Hmm? Yeah. Why are you sorry? <laughs> you were a jerk. Why were you a jerk? You shouldn't have been driving. Nope. I'm drinking. Okay. You do know that we're being audio and video recorded right now, okay? And someone already read you your Miranda rights, is that correct? What was that? Yes. Okay, so you understand you have the right to remain silent, that anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Let me go over that with you real quick, okay? So I'm going to go over these again, just because I'm making sure that this is all audio and video recorded here, okay? Yep, I messed up. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. Yep. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. If, if you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. I messed up. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand all of that? I messed up. Do you understand all of your rights as I read them to you? Yes? Yes. Okay. No. Where's your ID? Did you give your ID to someone? Uh, right now, right now, I can't. Is it in your wallet, in your back pocket? Uh, probably. Okay. Can you, let's see if we can get you stood up again so that we can see if we can find your ID. Okay. Ready? Lean forward with me. One, two, three. Thank you. Back pocket. Yeah? Right here. So you had two to three beers tonight, is that correct? Yep. Okay. Would you be willing to participate in voluntary field sobriety test? You don't want to? I want to. Okay. Unless you want. This guy doesn't have to. Two out of four, you know. driving to tonight? Huh? Where, where do you live at? Where were you driving to? Oh, uh, right. Well, why? Well, your ID card says Fossil, and your car's registration shows that you live in Federal Way. So where yeah, do you live Federal at? Way. You live in Federal Way? Yeah. So that's where you're going to drive to tonight? Yeah. Okay. That's okay? Yeah. Well, not okay. Well, I'm not okay, but uh, why? Yeah. Well, that's where you were heading is uh, Federal Way? Where do you go? Yes. Okay. Not to be jerk, but yes. I never ever said you were being a jerk. I know, I know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, I want to go home. Got it. I'm going to grab my car. Okay. I'm going to head home, go to sleep. Hmm? He doesn't want to do a field sobriety test, so they're going to grab my car, move him up from there, and then. Yo, let's hurt people on my roadway tonight, man. What? He said you on the roadway tonight. I called? Yeah, I said I talked to him. I said I called that. Okay. I'm not being hurt. Swear to God, I'm not being hurt. Your, your, your car's being towed. Okay. Okay. I'm not being hurt. I already told I talked to him earlier. Yeah. I didn't say you were being a jerk. No, no, no. I'm not saying you are. I'm not saying you are. No one's ever said you were being a jerk. I know. You just made a poor choice to drive. Oh, poor choice? Yeah. Yes. A jerk choice. Sure, you can call it a jerk choice. I would say it's a poor choice. I wouldn't call you a jerk. I you just had a lapse in judgment. Okay, get in the back of this patrol car over here. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is stand up against the, the rear tire right here. Oh, no, I can't now, can I? Oh, yeah, you can. Turn around. Face my car. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Face the car. Face the car. I'm going to pat you down real quick before we put you in my car. Yes, sir. Say again? Hey, Francis. Um, would you give us consent to search your vehicle? Uh... Yeah, and, and, and by consent, uh, when I when I give you con when you give us consent, you have the right to refuse the search of your vehicle. You have the right to um, limit the scope of the search of your vehicle. Wow, I can't, I can't believe it. Yeah, you have the limit. You have the right to limit where I search your vehicle, like what a areas or sections of your vehicle that I search. Hey guys, I mean, I'm feeling weird now. You're feeling weird. Why are you feeling weird? Yeah, you're gonna be for me, whatever, but. Uh, so are you, are you going to allow us to search your vehicle? I'll have a piece of paper that you can read and I'll go over Take with you. Take my car. Take it, you guys. Charge that down. Charge it. Maybe something wrong. Take my car. Huh? Sorry, guys. Go and take it. What? Oh, he was. The cut off. What? Yeah. I started recording because I thought it was a power button. Yeah. Do you have any jacks? I should. I don't have any. Take one. Take one. Is it is your last name Francis or your first name Francis? Oh, my first name Francis Campbell. Okay, Francis. Hang so on, hang on, hang on. One at a time, got it, guys. Okay. And do two. What what I want to ask? Hang on. Okay. All right, but it's something. You're let me know when you're ready to listen to me. Uh, All right, hey, Francis. Hang on. Francis, I want to talk to you for a second. Francis. Uh, I'm not going to do something I didn't do. I'm Francis. not going to commit to something I didn't do. Hang on. What are you talking about? I don't know. What is she, what is she, what is she doing? She's you putting your property bag. into a bag. Why? Because you're going, because to, jail. going to jail. I'll go with you all in one bag. Okay. It's a matter of convenience. So we're going to take it out of your pocket and put it in there. So it goes okay. with you. That's all. Convenience. So I don't have to carry it all, so I can carry it. Search the car. It has a consent to search and all the rights there. I'm going to read you something, okay? You have the constitutional right to receive the search. trying to hit my light button as he was speeding up and I'm not used to where the buttons are in the car and so I didn't I get just, my I just put it together to it happen so fast you didn't get to hit the buzzword so sorry. Right. You know much better though much better than your past though. Well, Matt. Much more calm. I mean had he went straight down yeah. 18 I wouldn't even have, I would have stopped and aired it out but because he made the, the right hand turn and almost yeah. went off the edge there I was like I gotta stop him. I thought Right here? Yeah. When I stopped him? Less than 10, because he stopped his car completely and then he started going again. And that's when I just got up right next to him and just 
push, you push them. Yeah, just push them. Stop. Thank you.